What's up guys, it's Susie from HeyGrillHey.com and I just finished a backyard barbecue experiment smoking these beautiful boneless beef short ribs. All right, come closer, come closer, yes. These turned out amazing and I'm gonna show you how we made them on this beautiful blue drum smoker. Check it out. Okay, so we headed to Costco to grab a brisket because Todd really wanted to do a brisket on his drum cooker. We haven't done one yet. We've typically done them on the pellet smoker, but they didn't have any briskets. Thank you, coronavirus. So we picked up these beautiful boneless beef short ribs and I've cooked bone in short ribs before, but not boneless, but seriously, they looked so beautiful we could not pass them up. So we're gonna do a little experiment today with these beef ribs. My goal is to get them just fall apart tender, melt in your mouth. We're gonna keep it pretty simple. So I'm gonna just give these a quick drizzle with some olive oil. So this olive oil is going to help our rub stick to the outside of our short ribs, but it's also gonna add a little bit extra moisture on the outside. Hopefully help us build up a nice dark crust. Our beef ribs are beautifully slathered with our olive oil. We're just gonna hit them with some of my beef seasoning. This is a perfect, all-purpose, all-around beef seasoning. It's salt and pepper base. So these short ribs will be able to work with anything we wanna put them in. That's a lot on that one, too. Just shake it off a little bit. I get a little heavy-handed. I don't know why I'm seasoning with my left hand today. I get nervous when the cameras are on, I don't know. You think this is gonna work? Yeah. I mean, we've short, we've smoked beef short ribs before. We've just typically done them bone on. We've also smoked like the giant dino beef ribs before bone on. So I think this will just be similar flavor profiles. Um, but I know cooking without the bone, I actually think we'll have access to a little bit more of the meat on the smoker. So we'll have more of those like crispy barky end bits. I'm very excited about these. Okay, so we got the pit rolling at about 275. Todd has got it loaded up with lump charcoal and post oak wood chunks. We can get that traditional Texas style, yeah, woody smoke smoke flavor. At 275, I wanna let these run for about three to four hours. I do have a thermometer probe in there, so we will be watching the temperatures around 175. We'll come out and take a peek. All right, our thermometer dinged at us, letting me know that our short ribs are coming up to temperature. We're gonna crack the lid open and take a peek and see if they are ready to wrap. And I'll tell you guys kind of the things that I look for before I wrap any meat on the grill. So you can start to see it's taken on some great smoke. You're getting that dark red, almost mahogany color. And we can start to see that bark is setting up. I think these are ready to wrap. So here's the plan. I'm gonna grab a piece of foil Put the lid on so we don't lose too much heat. And I'm gonna wrap these guys up with a little bit of liquid so that they can braise and get nice and tender. Grab some tongs and pull these off the smoker. So I can tell just by feeling these, they are picking up some tenderness, but they're a little bit tight. They're not as soft as I want them to be. I want these to be able to shred. So I'm gonna fold up the sides here, make a little meat boat out of foil, and then I'm gonna pour in some liquid. And the liquid that I'm using today is going to be a bone broth because these are boneless short ribs. I wanna add in that rich, you know, marrowy, bony, umami flavor. Probably gonna put in about a quarter to a half of a cup wrap these up nice and tight because we want the steam to stay in the package and then get them back on the smoker i still want to use the probe that's freaking hot normally with something like a brisket i look for a temperature around 201 to 203 degrees before i start testing for probe tenderness I want these beef ribs to go a little bit further than that because I want to shred them apart. So I'm going to be taking these between 205 and 210. Once that probe thermometer tells me we've hit 205, I'll start testing for 
tenderness, which means that my probe's gonna slide in and out like it's sliding into softened butter. I guess we'll be out here for another one and a half to two hours. All right, our thermometer went off, told us that these were getting close. So I wanted to come take a peek and see how they felt because temperature is one thing, but what we're really going for here is the right texture. And I'm loving what I'm seeing on the bark on the outside and the color. So this guy's reading like 207, 208 degrees, right between that, you know, 205 and 210 where I thought we'd be. And more importantly, the probe is just slipping and sliding. You can even see, I bet if I go to pick these up, they'll start to just bend and shred apart. That's what I'm looking for right there. <gasps> it's hot. So I'm gonna wrap these up, let them rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. I asked the kids how they wanted to eat these and they all unanimously said tacos and burritos. So that's what we're doing with our shredded beef tonight. Mm. Are we wrapping? Did you push a button? Yeah, recording. <laughs> you guys, these are perfect. They give you all of that rich fattiness of the short rib, but you're not working around the bone. So every single bite has that delicious barky crust on the outside. And they're delightfully fatty and so delicious. Are you gonna, I feel like you need to try some of this. Oh, yeah, yeah, trade me. Test, test, Todd. Hallelujah. What do you think about that? That was good. That's a different flavor on the barrel. It is a different flavor on the barrel. Y'all, I'm gonna call this one a recipe win. Boom. Boom. My fingers are too messy to push the off button.